Having gone the rounds, let's consider for a moment the roundest thing imaginable, the circle. Reminds us of the man who had a round letterbox fixed to his door for circular letters. And isn't it hard to draw freehand? Ever so much easier with a compass. Circle really means circus, hence the old Latin circus or Colosseum. Examples nearer home are the Albert Hall, the Dome of St Paul's, and these famous London interiors. The magic circle plays an ever bigger part in life than the eternal triangle. Take wheels and money. Money is made round so that it'll go round. In other words, it must uh, circulate. And then there's food. Besides rounds of toast, there's the stuff that always comes round at Christmas time. Wasn't there a little poem about it? The lens that took this picture. The tin. And the actual roll of film, all circular. The universe itself is made up of circles, like the round robins, the roundups, and the roundelays. The same quaint shape is a favourite with cartoonists. Gone, but not forgotten. But the most amazing thing about the circle is its mathematics. The diagram compares the diameter with the circumference and reduces the whole thing to a very simple but slightly vulgar fraction, 22 over 7. The decimal equivalent, as you can see, is 3.14159. And now we'll apply it to a practical experiment. First we get a board marked with lines three inches apart and proceed to hit the nail on the head. In other words, we'll ask Boofle, our blindfold assistant, to drop nails onto the board. A nail that touches a line is a hit. The extraordinary thing is that the percentage of hits is always 3.14159, or 22 over 7. The circle is always a popular figure in design and ornament. And if the job's done well, it soon gets round. Pretty effects like this one owe their success to the frightfully clever use of circles. They even made our head go round and round. And now, uh, knock knock. Oh no, she prefers a ring. And afterwards, hubby will be a long time coming round. And now we've come round to a dancing...